hello guys and welcome back to another video uh, so in this video i'll be showing you how you can create a simple calculator using the module my Qtify. so in one of my previous videos i've shown you how you can create a simple gui like a registration form using the my Qtify designer so if you don't want to create an entire gui using coding you can use that uh, application that is a designer application uh, which is available uh, for the PyQtify library. So you can create an uh, entire GUI using the drag and drop feature where each and every element are present, for example, buttons or a text box or checkbox, etc. So here in this application, I've just created a simple calculator to demonstrate to you how you can uh, extend the idea of uh, creating. Uh, applications in PyQtify using Python. So I'll just show the output. So this is the output. This is a calculator, and uh, the entire GUI over here is been created using the designer. So you can Google it, and I'll also provide you the link in the description below for the designer and how you can uh, create a simple GUI using the designer. Also, uh, how you can also i'll link the previous video so you will get a better understanding how you can uh, extend that idea so the entire gui has been created using the designer application and uh, you can see it works so these are the multiple elements like a uh, menu bar this is the lcd display where the output is being shown these are multiple buttons and various operation that is addition minus uh, divide and percentage and etc so this is the application and uh, you can do some operations divide by 9 okay so it works right so this is the application and now I'll walk you through the code so the folder uh, so first of all the editor which i'm using over here is the vs code and uh, this is the folder structure where the folder consists of two main files that is the calculator.py and main window.py so and there is also one dot ui but it is not actually being used but it is still there right so what is the purpose of it so when you create a gui using the designer that is the PyQtify designer. Uh, you uh, get a file with an extension of .ui. So you get something like this, where the entire UI is been written in a CSS and HTML kind of a format. You have to convert this entire code into something that Python can understand, right? So using some commands basic commands with the help of it you can convert this entire dot ui file into dot py file so this is our main code for the gui this has not been written this is generated automatic automatically uh, with a small command so i'll link the video which where i've shown you how you can convert the dot uh, ui extension to dot py so the entire application will be migrated to dot py uh, file so this is the code for it you don't have to write it and uh, uh, for the entire application the code will be available in the description so if you have any suggestions and enhancements to it you can comment down below or you can fork the github uh, repo and you can apply your own Im imagination to it right so these are the two main files calculator.py and main window.py so main window.py is actually been used as a module for importing the entire class ui main window so the entire class consists of the entire gui functionality which is been imported as a module so calculator.py is our main application where the actual logic of the uh, calculator has been written so as you can see over here this is the file main window and you have just imported ui underscore main window which is the class over here right 
this is the class which I have imported and this is the main application so within that there is also one uh, main class for writing the and inheriting the components of the GUI like buttons and LCD and etc so that is this class main window dot main window and with some arguments so these are the buttons with some operations right the operations include add subtract multiplication equals and resetting the entire LCD where you can see the output and uh, uh, resetting yes resetting and uh, uh, storing the elements within a stack for performing operations and uh, how you can take input from those elements and how you can store it and show it into the LCD display this is for this and uh, and this is for performing some basic uh, operations for example if you are performing addition or subtraction it the operator library over here will evaluate that operator and based on the inputs the user provide for example 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 right so it will determine that it is an addition operation and it will perform that operation so the basic task of this module is to perform the actual operations like addition subtraction division and etc right so this is the code again telling you the code will be available in the description so don't have to type it you just can fork the entire get github repo and uh, see how it works right and um, equal so this is the entire function which is dedicated for performing the equal operations so based on the input provided by the user for example in 5 plus 4 and on clicking the equals button 5 plus or uh, you can just have it as 5 plus 4 uh, the entire uh, process has been executed with this function so the entire uh, calculator calculator.py is been divided into functions where each uh, function has certain properties and has some operations within it maintaining state and etc initially it will be zero and with some conditional operations it will compare the input initially it should be one and uh, based on that it will do further operations so this is our main condition where the entire application will run this is the class so with the help of that window the entire window execution or the window will be shown so i'll just show you again so as i was uh, telling you previously the equals operation like for example if you press minus 9 equals so this equals button has a function binded to it which is this one right this one so that was the basic operation of equals and uh, and you might have seen that there is no functionality for like specific operation like addition subtraction or division or multiplication the main idea for that is that here the lambda is basically used for that for individual applications for individual operations basically so if you are familiar with python and if you are, have used lambda so what lambda does is that it will um, create individual uh, functionality for certain binds so for this button this one you can perform addition for this you can perform subtraction multiplication and division so with lambda you can directly perform that operation without explicitly writing a function right for performing just the operation right so this is uh, a good uh, method you can use for uh, performing the addition subtraction etc so i'll just provide some more information on the library operator and you can give it a read so this is the entire code i'll just walk you through right here
and uh, yep this was the code so this is the main logic where i've written the entire cal calculator logic and this is the gui so for this you don't have to type nothing because it is auto generated by the designer command itself i'll also mention the video where i've shown you how you can create the dot ui 2.py extension and this entire code will be auto generated so this is the main gui and this is the calculator logic so this was it for this video guys if you have any comments or if you have any queries and concerns regarding this code and how to execute it you can surely comment down below in the description and uh, and uh, yes you can surely extend the idea of how you can use a uh, gui uh, creation using the pyqt5 designer i'll also link some uh, post regarding the pyqt5 designer where you can uh, dive into more details of it and how you can uh, create some bigger applications using it so do check out the description for it and uh, yep the code will be also available in the description so go ahead and check that out so this was it for this video guys and uh, i'll be bringing more new content regarding python and as well as javascript react and node so stay tuned for those and uh, yep thanks for watching